All right, I'm going to show you how to connect a uh, Credit Care 8100 here uh, to the anesthesiacharting.com software. So we're going to start out with just hooking up the cable. So we have, first of all, you'll need a cable like this. It's got USB on one side and a what's called a DB9. It's just a serial connection on the other side. And you can get these on Amazon for like 15 bucks. There's a link from our website to this particular model. Um, the other thing you will need is this tiny little adapter. This is called a null modem adap adapter. And all it does is switch a couple of the wires. This is just necessary to make sure that the right pins here line up in the right pins on the back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this around. And the port that we want is here at the top. It says COM1. And so we should be able to put this on. Sometimes you need to fiddle with these a little bit. And what you can actually do, which is kind of nice, is you can actually put this on first and screw it into place. Um, let's see if I can do this here. Jam that in, and then there's little screw attachments here. So you can get this, and you can get these kind of nice and snug. It'll make it easier to get the other cable on there. Because... I'll have these little holes that you can screw the pins into. So we'll put that in first. And then just slap this guy right on there. And turn the little pins. We want a good tight connection. We don't want it to come loose. Alright, so that's good. It should be all set. And now turn this around. Now we can uh, access the menu here. So the way that these credit cares work is that they just treat this as a bit of a printer output. So what you're going to do is actually change the printer settings. So we're going to go in here and we're going to hit the menu here and then select print. And then oddly enough this print stuff doesn't really matter. The thing that is of relevance is here at the bottom. So what you need is you need serial to be, um, we're gonna select this. We want format to be CSV, which just stands for commerce separated values. And then the, so we're gonna leave that there. And then the baud rate, uh, it's just the frequency at which it talks to the, through the serial connection, needs to be 38,400. There's a few different settings here. Just make sure it's set to 38400. And then the only other thing that really matters here is we want the interval print here and the interval print type. So interval print is gonna be every five seconds. That means that we're gonna get a reading from this device every five seconds. And then the interval print type should be set to serial. And um, I think there's, there is a five minutes. You don't want that, you want five seconds. So make sure it's set to five seconds. Interval print, and there's a few options here, but you want it to be serial. And once we've done that, we should be good to go. I can go up to the top here and hit exit. Now I'm gonna slide this off to the side here and then go back to our software. So um, all I did here is I hit start new case and I'm just in regular, you know, just like you're doing a regular case, but you don't have to fill anything out. If you just wanna test this out, you can hit configure monitor and then you're gonna select Criticare Ingenuity and hit continue. And notice I'm just in Chrome here. There's nothing special going on. There's no downloaded apps. It's just Chrome. I'm gonna hit continue. And then it tells you everything that I just kind of told you here. Interval print, five seconds. Interval print type serial, serial format CSV. So you can reference it here too. You don't necessarily need to watch this video again if you don't remember the settings. Uh, a lot of newer computers have these only the USB-C. So if your cable looks like this, you're gonna to need to put one of these little adapters on there, but that's just to be able to make it fit in. We're gonna plug that in. And we're gonna hit uh, show connection selector. And sometimes the very first time you do this, it takes just a second for it to show up, but it's here right away. And there's this is gonna show any serial connection that you have at all on your computer. And so it, even some Bluetooth stuff can maybe it'll show up here, but the thing you're looking for is Something that includes USB. So USB serial here is what we're wanting. And I'm gonna hit connect. And now it's gonna sit here and it's gonna see if it's getting anything back. And so now what we're seeing here is we're seeing, it says connected to Criticare. 
don't know if you can see that. Um, and it says, you know, when it last received the data. And it says the monitor is sending blank vitals values. Likely this means everything is working, but the patient is not hooked up to any sensors. So that all makes sense. Um, it shows when the last blood pressure was taken. Just for, for demonstration purposes here, I'm going to go ahead and put the monitor into uh, demo mode. And now, of course, you can also just hook up a blood pressure cuff or the easiest thing to do is just an SpO2 monitor just to be able to see data coming through. But now you see here connected monitor, Criticare, and it's showing the monitor data coming in. And if I hit the NIBP button over here, we should get a value here shortly uh, for blood pressure here as well. So if you set that up to take a blood pressure every five minutes, you should get that value populated here. And then all we have to do is say, use this connection and then Criticare data, will just, this little bar will stay up here uh, during your whole case telling you the latest values. And you just do your case as normal and anytime it needs values, whether it's part of initial data, initial vitals readings, or every five minutes, um, it will just grab the latest values that it has, the ones that are closest to that particular checkpoint and insert it into your case. If for some reason it doesn't have data, it will still, the bar will turn red at the top and it will beep at you you know, letting you know that there's an incomplete checkpoint. But uh, that really, that should be it. Um, next time through, all you do is, you know, the, the monitor will be set up. All you should have to do is plug in your computer, hit configure monitor again, and select, you know, Criticare, and you should be off to the races. Um, don't hesitate to contact us if you have any issues, but thanks for watching. Bye. Just one special note here, if you are using a Chromebook, sometimes we have people that go buy a brand new Chromebook and immediately try to connect uh, this Criticare monitor or a similar monitor. And the capabilities of connecting this kind, of, using this kind of connection is something relatively recent. So you have to make sure that your Chromebook is on the latest version. And when you get it from the store, a lot of times it's not actually been updated yet. So once you connect it to the internet, it'll sit there and download the latest version and then it'll restart and actually show you the latest version. So what you want to do is you just want to, you can open it just to check. If you just got one and you just got it set up, you might want to do, you know, open it up and hit settings, open settings. And uh, this way you can check. And over here on the left-hand side, there is an option for about Chrome OS here at the bottom. And this will tell you the version you're on and you can just check for updates. And it will sit there and make sure it's the latest. And I believe in this case, it's actually not the latest because uh, I haven't opened this Chromebook for a bit. So now it's saying updating your device, and then once it's completed, it'll give you an option to restart. And then you can open this again just to confirm. But if for some reason you've got a brand new Chromebook and it doesn't seem like it's connecting, it's not giving you the option of selecting the connected monitor, um, just double check that you are on the latest version of Chrome OS and you should be good to go. So really that's it, thanks.